Hey guys, so I wanted to make this video while I'm streaming. I actually took a moment to actually stop streaming for a second and just make this video because I want to talk about something that I'm planning on doing here in the near future, which will actually change certain things about how I'm doing uh, my online content. So today... Uh, um, uh, December, December 19th, 2020, a Sunday, I went ahead and I purchased the domain name, thewanderingwind.church, $40 a year. What I'm doing with this is putting my money where my mouth is so that that way it gets me moving because I feel convicted and I feel led to start ministry because right now, online, you don't find a lot of Bible-based and really fundamentally grounded online churches that are reaching both the young and the remote in such a way as to genuinely give them the gospel and just the gospel in such a way that I feel is both understandable and also repetitive repeatable, which means, or replicatable, I guess. Hello, Nelson. Good to see you. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm recording a video as I'm streaming. Um, one of the main things about this is I want to make sure that you guys are kept in the loop because this will mean that a few things will be shifted around in order of importance because I do plan on launching the first actual service two weeks into uh, 2022. So I've bought the domain name. I'm currently in the process of building the website and getting services in the background running so that, that way I can just simulate live streams of church services. I'm actually able to use my, my own personal church's facilities to be able to uh, record services and messages and everything else, which is allowing me to uh, cut the middleman out of that. It's going well, Blunette. Good to see you. Good to see you. And so because of that, I am able to start ministry a lot sooner than most people that are doing this from scratch. What I hope to accomplish with this is twofold, actually threefold. And I'm going to be making a mission statement here soon. First, reaching the lost and giving them giving them the powerful words of the gospel, bare bones, but also understandable. Secondly, growing an online community that can both support one another, pray for one another, as well as support the church at large, because we are not just one denomination or several denominations. We are the one church, as the Bible intended, as Jesus Christ himself established. Thirdly, expansion over time with God's providing hand and as the need is required. What this means is as I have more and more people tuning in, I will expand further. I will get more resources. I will set up a, a, a non-profit, stuff like that. Basically, I'm starting from scratch. I'm starting from day one. And we will go from there because right now I feel the call to just begin. 2022 is a new year and it is a new mission, both for myself and for the church at large. 2022 has to be the year where, cha where change starts and where movement begins because in 2022, we don't have, we're not going to have a whole lot of time to reach certain people between COVID killing people before they can hear the gospel or before they can accept the gospel. And then the world just progressively getting worse and worse over time. It won't be too much longer before no one is able to be reached for the gospel because everyone has hardened hearts. And so that is why I feel led, called, and even compelled to do this now rather than in 10 years, 20 years, 15 years from now. Because, let's be honest, in that time frame, many things can change and many people will have missed 
the moment that God had made for them. Because we still have free will. And that includes my free will. I could say no. I could. But that no would be both directly against God, willfully against God, but also it would be willfully against those people who might be reached through my words and my platform. So I'm doing what I can right now. So this pushes back a few things, including the release date of Sunset Skies, as I'm going to be prioritizing getting the website done, getting through the holidays, and then just starting on that. As I will be continuing to, to do more development of it, but of course, with this, there will be delays. Two, I will be uh, cutting back a bit on content as I start promoting, promoting and also preparing for the Sunday services coming up in the next month. I will be doing Sunday services at 7 p.m. This is to not conflict with my own personal worship time Sunday mornings, but also to not conflict with other people's schedules where they might be busy on a Sunday morning, but they might be home and relaxing on a Sunday evening and still want to get more of the word. So that will be the main thing. As far as resources I'm using, I'm using Life Church for a lot of my sermon resources. I'm using Church Online platform to simulate live streams and allow me to connect with people and also gather a team that can help connect with people and pray for them, uh, answer questions, stuff like that. I'm also doing a lot of other things just to try and keep things um, moving in the background. So over the next few weeks, I will be building that infrastructure so that it is actually there. And then moving forward, that will be when we begin with the hopeful and prayerful, uh, just, uh, the prayerful, uh, ministry that God is placing in my hands and allowing me to do a work through him with. I, I, I say this with trepidation, but I will do my best to be a good shepherd of the flock that God gives me. However, I know for a fact that I am but a human being and I have woeful amounts of inexperience of experience versus other people twice, three times my age, and even half my age. So to say that I am confident in what I am doing is a lie. But to say that I have no hope that this will go well is to deny the power of Christ both in me and in the world. So, as I leave you guys this evening, I want to thank you for your support and for your care and for your love in this time and just allow you the opportunity to see where this goes. Um, as of right now, I cannot get the redirect for the um, domain to work, so I will be leaving the link for the Weebly uh, website down below so you guys can go see it and check it out and sign up for the newsletter so that when the site is live, I can let you guys know. Until then, thank you guys so very much for watching. Thank you for being a part of my day, and thank you for possibly being a part of this ministry moving forward. God bless you, and I'll see you again soon.